On today's episode of Tony's Fords and Mustangs, we're going to find out if an $86 carburetor from Amazon is really any good. Is the thing going to work? It's not going on this one. I've got my Maverick outside. The carburetor on that is leaking. I think it's warped, and therefore I don't really want to rebuild it. The choke is sticking, so I need a choke on top of the rebuild kit. I'm pretty sure if I rebuild it, I'm still going to have a little bit of a leak there. So, I went to Amazon. The one barrel carburetor for the straight six is 86 bucks. We're going to give it a shot and see how it does. Okay, so here's my box from Amazon. I, gotta... I already cut this. I just have to unbox it. How does this unbox? Oh, there we go. So there's some foam in here. That's not a bad thing. There's a kit here, has a gasket, a choke connection, and looks to be a vacuum line. Let's set that to the side there. Another piece of foam. Definitely China cardboard here. That real thin looking cardboard. Here's my carburetor. It's in a bag. It looks to be the right part. This one, let's get you in there a little bit. I don't need this. This is for a PCV valve. I'm just going to block that off. It's got the electric choke on the back. Not sure how good that is, but we're going to find out. What else is going on here? Well, it doesn't stick. That's nice. The uh, throttle linkage seems to work okay. Not that the Maverick's ever at, and it's never at this, right? It's always somewhere in here. The air idle screw looks to be all the way in, maybe. I'm going to turn this all the way in and then back it out a turn and a half. That's kind of default for any idle air mixture. And then we'll get a vacuum gauge on it and check it from there at some point. But it's after I get the thing on and, and get it hopefully running. I've heard from the reviews online that this, where the air filter element's going to screw in, that this thread's wrong. So I'm prepared to swap that out. But everything looks, you know, like it should. Everything seems to be in line. The throttle linkage works well. The choke cog is okay. Idle adjustments are here, fast idle, regular idle. They look to be in line. So when the choke's open, there's your standard idle right there. And this is your fast idle, but that all looks good. That piece looks okay. That's going to go into the factory harness. And this is just going to go on the choke, so that's okay. I'd like a little thicker gasket, although that's not that thin. I'm going to see what's there. You want to isolate the carb from the, the manifold so that there's no heat transfer. So I like to see a thicker gasket when I put these things on, but eh, we'll see how that goes. But out of the box impressions, it's not bad. Looks okay. So let's get the old one off. We'll get this one on and we'll see where we're at. So as reported by everyone on Amazon for in the comments section, this is wrong. It's not going to work. The threads are different. So we're going to swap this out right away before I get in there and get upset. So let's get this old carburetor off of here. And I'm going to start with, I don't know, a vacuum line, right? So I guess I get this clamp off. Let's see how tight. Well, that's cute. Uh, yeah, that's not supposed to just pop out. <laughs> I like to keep gas off the exhaust manifold. And since this is a straight six, the intake manifold is right above the exhaust manifold. So. Let's 
gas we get out of this. Probably nothing. Yep, empty. Oh, rusty too. That's cute. This comes out of there. Oh, this whole thing is rusty. That's great. Okay, so I get rid of that. That's how I got the one size fits all wrench. And that's perfect. Oh, that's, let's... There we go. Oh my, look at that. Just pouring out of that fuel filter. That could be a problem. An indication that I've got some rust in my tank, I think. Could be wrong, but probably not. Always have a magnet around. So let's compare these two carbs. This one is the OEM and it's way heavier. This is way lighter, which I'm not sure if it's because this is aluminum or this is cast or this is from China. <laughs> this isn't, I'm not really sure, but the Carter has definitely got more weight to it. It handles some things a little bit different. The choke still has the same connection. They supplied this in the box, which that's nice. I can use that. Uh, everything else looks to be pretty much the same. I can't see a whole lot of differences. If you watch me pull this fuel line off here, the amount of rust that dumped out is scary, right? So that's either rust in the tank or rust in the line or both. But uh, that may be what happened to my Carter. This front bowl might just be full of who knows what. So I'm going to address that here shortly. I'm going to put an additional filter in line to try to capture that. And it's a clear plastic one. That way I can see it and kind of know what's going on with it.
Well, that's pretty good. So there you have it, $86 on Amazon. I know it's a China carburetor, but it fired right up. I'm a little concerned because I put my vacuum gauge on there. I tried to adjust the air idle mixture screw and turns in, turns out, really didn't affect vacuum at all, which is a little odd. Normally you go a half a turn on one of those screws and you're gonna see it either the vacuum drop or it's gonna advance and nothing. So I don't know if that circuit's actually doing anything, I did look at the screw, it does go into the carburetor. So it should do something, but nothing at this point. The choke seems to be working out okay. The heat tube's not attached to it. It doesn't appear to go anywhere even if I did. And I'd have to reroute it because it's on the opposite side. So early results, this seems to be fine. It seems to be working out okay. We'll know a little bit more as I get to drive the car a little bit. My biggest concern at this point is the pile of rust, the half a teaspoon of rust that came out of my fuel filter. Now I've got a second inline filter there and that's already picking up some rust. So is there a lot of rust in the tank? Do I need to swap the tank out? Time's gonna tell on that one, but I can't think it's just in the line. I gotta think it's probably in the tank. And maybe before I decide to drive that car to San Francisco, it might not be a bad idea to pick up another fuel tank. That way I'm not swapping out fuel filters between here and San Francisco. It's 5,600 miles. But time's going to tell. Like I said, so far so good. We'll get some miles on this thing. I'll report back to you and let you know how it's going. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, please consider subscribing. That would be appreciated. Until next time, we'll see you.